Graphing rational numbers, Algebra 1, number 2.2b. Well, every rational number can be found as a point on a number line. A number is called the coordinate of the point, and the point is the graph of the number. So when we draw a point on a number line, we say we've graphed a number. We use it instead of the word point. And our number line has to have evenly spaced units, otherwise it's not going to make sense. So we can graph these numbers. If we've got 4 thirds, you can see the zero in the center right here. See it? We've got a positive 1 and a positive 2. We've got a negative 1 over here. And each of the spaces between the whole numbers is broken into thirds. 1 third, 2 thirds, the 1 would be 3 thirds, and there's 4 thirds. So that's where our point would be. So to graph 4 thirds, we'd put our point right there. And you can see 4 thirds, if we simplified it, it would be 1 and 1 third, wouldn't it? So that's 1 and 1 third. If we have negative 1.5, that's actually a negative 1 and a half, isn't it? Because 0.5 is a half. So we would draw our 0, our negative 1, our negative 2, our positive 1, our positive make it all nice and evenly spaced. And each line in between these whole numbers is going to be the half, isn't it? So we would go negative 1 and a half. And we know we're going to go in this direction because of the negative sign. See? So we're going to be on the negative side. How about this one? We've got negative 11 tenths. So because of that negative sign, we know we're going to be on this side of the 0. Well, 10 tenths would be 1. So negative 10 tenths would be negative 1. Now we just need one more tenth to have 11 tenths. So we go to the one next little space, and it's right there. We graph our point right there, OK? So to clarify, because we were talking about rational numbers, I want to just make sure that this is uh, understood. And you can put this in your notes. It'll be extremely helpful if you copy this down. When we start with natural numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, going on and on, all the way up, those are all the natural numbers. As soon as we add a zero to this group, to this set, now we have whole numbers, because whole numbers include zero and all natural numbers. If we have integers like negative 13 and 10 and negative 4 and 38, those are negative and positive whole numbers, aren't they? Integers include whole numbers and natural numbers. See? Integers include all whole numbers. Rational numbers are simple fractions, negative or positive, right? So rational numbers include integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. They're all within rational numbers. So these are all rational, OK? All right, so we're going to continue on, and we're going to talk about putting rational numbers in order by size with inequality signs, with the less than, greater than signs, OK? I'll see you at 2.2c. Bye.